me and me and Steve here, uh, we busted into You're again. Steve here? Who's Steve here? Uh, yeah. oh, Steve Doherty. He has a problem after all. Anyway, uh, we, we busted into the gas station and uh, we busted into the church. Well, we didn't bust into church. We just walked in. Hey, here you. We busted into a gas station and we walked into a church. You walked into a church through which door? No, the window was open. Oh, the window. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of church? Catholic church. What are we gonna do in there? Trying to find a mass at three in the morning? <laughs> no. Uh, we're just looking for a place to sleep. For a place to sleep? And yeah. what else? Uh, for some food. <laughs> What'd you find? Uh, a couple of bags of potatoes. What else did you find? Uh, some Common clothes. Papers. What else? That's it. What found you? Uh, well, after that, we walked up the road and uh, we busted into a gas station. Well, that was open too, but we went in there. Anyway, uh, uh, anyway, police drove up and they picked us up. Hey, what happened? Uh, they threw us in jail. Enjoy yourself? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> the average American really has no experience with democracy. He reads his newspaper about some other people playing at democracy, but he has no experience at it. The average kid that comes to see us is infinitely worse off than the average American. He has never had a chance to make a decision for himself. He has no sense that he is the master of his fate, the captain of his soul, is in charge of anything at all. And this is most important. The best evidence indicates that this is the most important attitude for school success and for life success. So at Green Valley, we construct a thing which we call general meeting, where everyone has one vote and we attend to problems. Not the, my mama was mean to me, therefore I'm a thief kind of problem, but someone stole something from me, someone broke into my room, someone kept me awake late at night, someone did this, that, and the other thing. The solutions the kids come up with are probably never perfect. But the fact that they are attended to, that adults listen solemnly and that they accept their solutions gives them a long learning experience of being in charge of themselves, of learning to trust each other, of learning to trust a process. Often it has to be chaired by an adult because kids simply have no experience with it and frequently there are adults who cannot uh, handle the, the situation. It must be fast, it should be funny, it should be to the point, uh, it should uh, at least visibly solve the problem. But the ultimate outcome really is important, that is the actual sentence that's handed out to the male factor or, or a young criminal. What's important is that you go through a process of talking in front of your peers about what you've done and so become socialized and so also learn that democracy is not just a be breakfast food to be merchandised but something to, to utilize, a tool that is very, very effective and much more efficient than many uh, so-called modern therapies. He claims I have to pay uh, one dollar fifty-five. Point of information, uh, Dr. Ben. Dr. Ben can't bring that up. Bearing on cigarettes. Wait a minute, there's a dollar. What about the dollar fifty-five? He claims I have to give him a dollar fifty-five because I didn't pay him this week because for a cigarette. <laughs> Can I bring some? <laughs> <laughs> Can I bring some? You, all right, as long as it doesn't have to do it. Well. What? How, how does this problem begin? All right, the problem began with a jean jacket. For the jean jacket. Right. All right, we can discuss that. <laughs> All right. And I said, you'll have a pack of cigarettes this weekend. So I came up there the other day, and I had, it was all ripped and mangled. And said, so I took me down to the, uh, uh, the place down at the craft shop and mended it all up. And I came back, and I gave him a pack of smokes. And I come back to the flies, and I find out it's not his jacket. <laughs> and so... Uh, <laughs> No problem. No problem. And so I, I just, I just figured, you know, I'd like to get back at him, you know, because I was so stupid, and I'd just like to, you know, get a little revenge. <laughs> Whose jacket was it, Mister Ball? It was Danny Hannigan's, and he said that since I sewed it, I could have it anyway. But I'm, I'm. Where's Danny Hannigan? He's on vacation. He's what? He's on vacation. His life is one vacation. Yep. I'll let you have half of it. Well, having heard all the evidence, we're going to nominate you as Baboon of the Week <laughs> and him as uh, Floating Toilet of the Week. <laughs> and we're going to flush you, Mr. Maloney. We will not uh, uh, participate in the collection of a pack of cigarettes, however.
that all know that the Constitution of this general meeting as students have passed in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in days former that we will not discuss any problems dealing with the owing of, stealing of, or other problems involving cigarettes. Next time, buy it with a quarter <laughs> or 50 cents. Mr. Kendig. No, I don't have a problem. Trust yourself, right? Mr. Jordan Lerner. Thank you, Mr. Lerner. Mr. Locke. We're not all perfect adults by any stretch of the imagination, but we try to let kids see people who have jobs and functions that are real, and that in doing them you can have some enjoyment, and that the things which count on in life are crisp and real and have immediacy, and above all are kind of fun. And that's the biggest change in how the kids are before they come and what they see when they are here and what they're like when they go out. At the very least, I think they need a lot of fun.